how to make nft gif art hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can make gifs and how you can turn them into an nft so having said that let's just jump into the video now why would you want to create them well it's very simple now if you're into the nft crypto verse or nft verse whatever you would like to call it you would know that you know if i'm looking at these images right now the one who pops up more is this one because it's moving like instantaneously my eyes don't fall over here don't fall over here this is the only image that my eyes register so same thing over here if i keep scrolling down i will only see the moving images like this one like this one like and then i will move over to the static one so it's very important to you know catch the eyes of your buyers or the other customers as well so as you can see over here these are really really cool images that you can create and especially this one as well like as you can see i count over here like maybe three or four images and that's basically it three or four images and they're been combined into one and then turned into a gift like you can easily create them and it's really really good too so the site that i'm on right now is called rareable and this is a pretty amazing website over here you can create sell and mint your nft it is also one of the biggest marketplace for selling nfts anything to do with nfts you can come over here onto rareable and the sign up process is very simple so first things first what we need to do is we need to create our nft so what type of nft do you want it can be anything you can create something like this as well like this is pretty amazing you can get like a bunch of anime characters right you can outline them and put them black and then you can make be change the background and boom you have yourself a gift like this one as well like as i said they look really incredible and they look complex but they really really aren't so the exact same way i'm going to create one as well and mine isn't really as good as these because i'm not that great of an artist i just dabble here and there i just practice a little bit and boom whatever i create i like like one time i created a really good nft i didn't register as an nft because i didn't upload it but it was a really good artwork and i think i deleted it let me try to see if i can find it over here it should be over here somewhere um i don't think it is so unfortunately it's gone forever but i will try to recreate it another day and maybe show you guys okay so moving back to the video so over here i think i'm gonna go ahead and make like a solar type of nft so if i come over here onto this website you can see that i have this image in front of me right as you can see this website is called pixelart.com and you can sign up onto this amazing website and you can create your own artworks as well so this is the artwork that i created i think it's really nice uh, i think it's a cute little ghost with a little smile and pink cheeks and whatnot but let's just say that this is it right now how do you think you could do it so i added like a gradient background so you can change the background you can add like different backgrounds and images and that would be good right or what you could do is you can move this image up and down right that could also be a really good idea so what you can do is you can just select the hand tool right and what you can do is just select the layers okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this little ghost up and down so to do that what i can do is let me just choose this hand option and over here in layers maybe like transform i just choose the wrong layer okay here we go select layer click on transform make sure you selected the layer that you want right so now what i'm going to do is i'm just simply going to move this up right there you go boom i'm going to click on accept now over here in the gift maker as you can see i have added four layers i have added four frames right now this is at one this is below it goes up and over here if i'm gonna move it a little bit down as well but i'm gonna move this one down this one's gonna stay the same this one's gonna go down so again we're gonna select layers and we're gonna click on transform oh again messed around we gotta select the right layer all right now we just move it down over here there we go and we click on accept there we go now let me just see over here let me actually copy another frame all right i'm going to move this frame at the end first one is this second one is this the third one goes up right i'm going to move this one at the end as well first one is in the middle second one goes up third one is in the middle fourth one goes down fifth one is in the middle and then sixth one is also in the middle all right so let me just delete this there we go 
now we have the frame speed we can see all of that we can click to toggle the frame panels as well now this is a pretty cool way like let me just click on preview all right so this is the preview as you can see goes up and down really simple nothing to it um, of course i'm just you know showing you how it basically is but you can add a little bit more frames to it and make it a little bit more smoother what you can do is maybe like edit the drawing like over here maybe the tail is like going here and then when it goes down the tail goes over here you know you can edit these different types of things you can make it even more special or what you can do is you can let the background color be the exact same and you can change the ghost's color as well which i think would be pretty cool as well that you can do that and a lot of things you can do it's really simple now let me just see the preview again over here you know click on preview yeah let me just go ahead and download the gif i'm gonna go ahead and downloading wait a couple of seconds for it to be downloaded then we're gonna go ahead and upload it on rarible as an nft so this is how you basically make a gif nft or you create a gift and then you turn it into an nft all right so let's go ahead and save it there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to wearable and over here what we're going to do is we're going to create an account so simply click on create and over here it basically asks you what type of blockchain do you want so each blockchain has different uses so most popular one is ethereum then i think is polygon but i think i'm going to choose polygon because if you choose polygon it's a free gas free experience so you won't have to pay like any gas fees as well and you can easily upload nfts for free so I'm going to choose Polygon and I'm going to sign in with MetaMask and you can choose any other cryptocurrency wallet that you want. But I'm going to choose MetaMask because it's really easy and I already have MetaMask installed over here. So just simply search for MetaMask. All right. Well, on to Google. Let me just show you how you can get your own MetaMask. Oh, I came over here in Google.com. MetaMask. You just simply search for it. The main website will pop up and just simply click on download. And over here, just simply click on install MetaMask for Chrome and your MetaMask will be installed into your Chrome browser. Then you can go ahead and create an account. It's really simple. So let me just go back over here and let me just accept the transaction over here and let me connect my account to MetaMask so that we can create an account. Yes, I'm at least 13 years old. I am older. And yes, click on proceed. Let's just wait for a couple of seconds okay so over here choose which type of nft you want so multiple if you want to sell one collection or a single if you want to sell one nft so i just want to sell one nft it's basically a gift and now over here we're going to choose which file to upload so as you can see we have pngs we have gifs webp mp4 or mp3 and they all have to be at a uh, hundred megabytes at max so what we're going to do is we're going to choose the file that we have here we go this is the file we're going to click on upload so this is it and now what we're going to do is we're going to choose how we're going to sell it fixed price open for bid or timed auction it all depends on you for me i think this one is only available the other ones aren't so we're going to choose that and then we have our collection if you want to create a collection you can go ahead and do that it all depends on you and then you have your name your description and royalties so what we're going to do is we're going to call it ghosty here we go and then we're going to see it's a moving ghost really simple all right then we have royalties so royalties are for example if this has been sold once i've created it right i've sold it to someone else and then when another person sells it more and maybe it sells it again and again and again whenever someone sells it i get like 10 percent of the royalties as well and the other person as well so i think we can choose it like maybe 20 percent right maximum is 50 but we'll keep it at 20 percent and then we'll just click on create an account oh i forgot we forgot to enter in the price sorry about that so we have matic and pweth so we're going to keep on matic and over here what we're going to do is we'll just enter in like 0 0.05 or something yeah here we go or 0 0.5 which is like 0 0.81 dollars actually we'll just go with like n which is 16 dollars maybe like 20 there we go we'll go with 20 matic and boom and from that 2.5 percent will be the service fee that wearable is gonna cut and then we will receive like 19.5 matic so there you go next thing what we can do is simply click on create and boom wait a couple of seconds for it to load and once it's finished loading up you know 
as you can see it's uploading then it'll mint then it'll prove and then it'll be put on save and all the while it'll send maybe a one or two transaction to our metamask wallet as you can see over here for the gas fees as you can see uh we have to pay the gas fee maybe in 30 seconds so let me just see real quick uh, gas fee shouldn't be coming up over here maybe if we choose pweth oh that's a lot no we only want 0 0.01 there we go maybe now the gas fees wouldn't show up i mean usually shouldn't because polygon is a free blockchain i mean i've uploaded many more all right, I guess I do have to pay gas fees for some reason, but it's basically it. So once you pay the gas fees, then you'll just approve and then you're good to go. And that way you have uploaded your own NFT over onto Rarible and you can do the exact same process on OpenSeas as well. So this is how you make a NFT gift art and how you can upload it and sell it. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye.